So I really do feel like I have to re-explain this whole situation because to some people it's just not clicking and I've made it very clear that I have nothing against Boruto. I actually do watch the show on a daily basis and I do enjoy it. Now, with that being said, I have said this, James has said this, and I'm pretty sure Masashi Kudo has stated this. We need Noriyuki Abe on board for the Bleach anime return if it is to ever happen. I've made this clear in a couple videos and people still did not get the message. Some people didn't. Most of you do. I truly do know that most of you did get the message. But the message is not really, you know, it's not really clicking for other people out there. So I really have to be clear on this. Boruto is not the issue in the room. The true issue at hand is Noriyuki Abe and the fact that he is working on Boruto. We need him back in the game so that Bleach can be animated once more. Without Abe, Bleach cannot continue. And that's what I've been saying. This is not a joke, it's very mediocre, and I'm finding it very stupid how some people are twisting my words, saying that I hate Boruto, and I'm causing people to dislike Boruto. That is not the truth. People either like it, or they dislike it. Now, I'm not saying I hate Boruto, as I've been saying, I'm watching the series, that latest episode was deadly, okay? I'm referring to episode 65, I believe. It was the greatest Boruto episode I have ever seen, okay? That animation was phenomenal. It was insane. I gotta say that was one of the best fights I've ever seen in the Naruto universe. Um, that even beat Kakashi versus Obito for me. Not even gonna lie. But anyways, people have been twisting my words, and I'm just here to say you really need to step back and rethink this because I have no clue why you're all getting mad at me. I'm not hiding behind anything, okay? I'm gonna say this straight. Yes, I have trashed Boruto in the past. I do admit to that, and some of you do know that. I've made videos saying that Boruto is holding Bleach back because they belong to the same studio, and also because Boruto has Bleach's director, Abe, and that is a big problem. He directed Yu Yu Hakusho and came back in order to direct and supervise the OVAs as well. The truth is, the success of an anime series has a lot to do with its director. Okay, let's just say if someone was picked to take care of Bleach and it wasn't Abe, for instance. Abe is a famous director. He did some great things. It would be risky if someone else was to take his place. Artistically speaking, that's why Abe is needed. Same goes for the members of the original staff. Studio Periot, the ones responsible for the Bleach anime in the first place, tend to keep people around who made the franchise popular. And it's the right thing to do, honestly. Masashi Kudo said that there wouldn't be any Bleach project without Abe in a sense. When he said that Abe was busy working on Boruto, I think it was basically meaning that they were not willing to continue without him. Okay, let's speak honestly here for Bleach. An anime sequel in 2015 would have been a huge success. It was perfect timing. But no, it didn't happen. End of story. Exactly like if something or someone made sure it would never happen. It would be surprising for Periot to use staff members of the Bleach anime in key roles for other animes if they knew that the anime would come back. But they kept saying it's a possibility, probably because if they say it's not, they'd be eaten alive. We have petitions here. We have the DVDs that are selling like crazy too. Some crappy unpopular mangas had animes or sequels. So, there definitely is an issue here that we don't know about regarding Shueisha and Bleach because a few things still do not add up. It is just not making any sense to me because Bleach is a huge Shonen title and it has sold millions for Shonen Jump and it's just not making any sense how there is still no anime. A little promotion here, a little promotion there. Let's promote everything but the anime, guys. That's gonna make perfect sense. No, but truth be told, it's not really making any sense. The ratings were down, but they were also down for Gintama too. And the anime came back for that when they saw how popular the assassination of the Shogun arc was. Let's get one thing straight. The Thousand Year Blood War, when it comes down to manga sales, it was much more popular overall. So what in the name of Soul Society is even going on here? The only clue... What we have here is that Masashi Kudo said, from his perspective, is that Periot wants to continue Bleach, but didn't receive the go from Shueisha or Kubo. It can mean many things. Maybe they didn't ask for it yet because they are still afraid that it might not work. 
Maybe they asked for it, but Shueisha weirdly turned it down, or Taite Kubo decided to turn it down. Whether it's Piriot, Shueisha, or Kubo, someone or something is preventing the anime from returning. We definitely know for a fact that Studio Piriot's producer was saying that he wanted to continue the anime back in 2015. And Kudo in 2017 saying that they want to, but Shueisha and Kubo are the cause basically. Now, based on what the Piriot members have been saying, they need an approval from Shueisha and Kubo. Meaning they haven't received one yet. The question is, why? And we might never know that answer, guys. The TV channel can also be the ones who don't want the Bleach anime to come back. But Kudo just pointed out about Kubo and Shueisha, so I assumed it wouldn't be an issue. With Kubo kind of trashing the anime in one of his last interviews, see that right there, I think him being the reason it didn't come back would actually explain many things. As for Shueisha, I don't really get why they would refuse to be quite honest. Please take this all with a grain of salt, I have nothing against Kubo of course. I'm simply just speculating here, nothing more, and honestly the reason could be anything. Now for the Bleach live action film. Oh my god. What is even going on, okay? Like, there's a bunch of mixed opinions around this movie. And basically, I think mainly, you know, live action in general paints a bad picture um, in the minds of many people. Because, you know, look at Dragon Ball Evolution, look at Attack on Titan, look at Death Note, the Netflix version I'm talking about. Uh, those flopped really bad. If you're talking about, like, Gintama and also Roroni Kenshin, then, you know, we're, we're in the clear. And also, I guess you could say Tokyo Ghoul did well as well. So, you know what? Um, it, it's really all just mixed opinions for the live-action Bleach movie. Um, and everyone, mostly anyone who's seen it, is saying that it's doing really well. Um, you know, and I haven't really seen it yet, but I know it's doing great. Um, it's just that 1.5 mil is a really slow start-off point for this movie. Um, usually you'd get a lot more, but honestly, the positive reviews, the positive feedback, it, it's really good, okay? And people are talking about doing a trilogy, but it's really unclear if we'll get one. Um, and Kubo has been releasing new images of Ichigo for expo and convention displays. In truth, Bleach has lost a significant amount of its fan base, but it still stands as a top title for its decade. There will be no changing that. No matter what anyone else says, scumbags like For Neverworld, for instance, who have a huge influence on the fan bases, alright? And people who haven't even seen Bleach in its entirety, those people who have not seen Bleach could very well be affected in the long run due to absolute toxic tools such as him that badmouth the series every single day. It's as if people think that Bleach is the very first anime series with problems. And it's not a meme, but more of a bandwagon hate train with no good reason. The ending was rushed, but the final arc was good. Yet, it isn't really like old times, but there still is some merchandise. Which ultimately brings us back to the previous statements that were made regarding the remarketing rebranding process, which was first stated by James Hansen and then stated by myself. They are slowly bringing Bleach back up where it needs to be, and, and the relevance has been, you know, it's been quite a ride so far. Consumers have proven time and time again that Bleach is marketable. It is selling. It is popular. It is seriously time to wake up and start smelling the Bleach here. Because blind criticism towards an anime series accomplishes nothing. There is still a lot going on for Bleach right now this year. The light novels by Ryogo Narita. The Jet Art Book, which is coming in December. The new one-shot, which if I might add, pertains to Bleach. Now, basically, all the Bleach community is asking for is justice for the series itself. We just want the anime back, basically, in a nutshell. We have stood up for quite a few years, screaming to Shueisha that, hey, we need the Bleach anime to return, right? We really miss it. Bleach somehow appears to be the only series these days that haters will call irrelevant for God knows what reason. They cannot even begin to comprehend the life of a mangaka. Taite Kubo worked himself to the brink. He almost died working on Bleach. I guess you could say that is almost practically the same situation as Hunter x Hunter without the hiatus. It's a shonen as well. And let us not forget the fact that Togashi is saying that he's practically dying at this point. As I said, nobody can comprehend the life of a mangaka. Truly, 
Honestly, we cannot. We have a bunch of mobile titles, including Bleach Paradise Lost and Bleach Brave Souls, which does have rights to the Thousand Year Blood War, which is a very big deal. Some people don't really seem to realize this. Bleach is also participating in Jump Force with their Thousand Year Blood War characters, which we didn't even think possible, but it's happening. Masashi Kudo, the character designer of Bleach, has stated many times that he wishes to do the anime with his staff. Same goes for Studio Period. Let us not forget the fact that Bleach has sold 120 million manga copies worldwide. Just a while ago, it was confirmed that Bleach was the third best-selling electronic manga as of July 2018. Let us not forget the raw fact that Burn the Witch was trending as soon as it came out, through many official sources. I have stated all of this stuff countless times, video after video after video. The main issue at hand is the amount of time we have left. Lots of people are losing hope as each day goes by, and that's the truth. I mean at this point, it is either sink or swim before we reach 2020. I told you guys, if there is no indication for an anime renewal by that year, we will be in a dark place. I know many of you are supporting this series as much as possible. I think it's time to stand up and start getting serious if we want to get anywhere with Bleach. I honestly think petitions are a huge factor. The one I made is in the description of this video. Please check it out. We need to start spamming Shueisha. I can guarantee you they've constantly seen our cry for the anime. We need to crank up the volume even more and continue doing our best for the betterment of what seems to be left of this community because it all matters. It all starts here. It's time to get serious if we truly want a green light for that anime announcement. Kubo himself hinted that the Bleach world is not over through Burn the Witch. We can only get on our knees now and hope for the best. I know you guys are doing everything you can. I know you are. Continue to do what you do. Never give up or feel discouraged on a series you truly feel passionate about despite what others say. They can all go and screw themselves. They have absolutely nothing on us because we have an ambition. Ah!